Everybody has a chance to meet Steve. We're going to start a line at the door. The weather's nice, so it shouldn't be a problem standing outside for a few minutes. So if you just make a line straight through here and back out the, excuse me, back out the door, we'd appreciate that. Larry Stone with the. Well, this is unbelievable. This turnout here at the McDonald's. Uh, we, we've had an unbelievable response everywhere we've been. This is actually our 12th stop of the caravan overall. Again, if we're just four lines out the door, we're going to stay here as long as we need to. We haven't to. seen so anything like this yet, so it's any, great. Any problem? Fantastic. You're Always good to see you, folks, night. and. Uh, we're uh, looking forward to the uh, Titans Radio Network again this year. Well, thank you, and uh, we're excited about bringing Steve McNair to Camden. Quarterback certainly going to be a big star. He's, he's a two-year starter for us, uh, beginning his third year as our starter, and I think everybody thinks he's on the way to becoming one of the very best in the National Football League. Obviously, the people of Camden think that because they're here, and we've got uh, Titan stickers that Steve will be glad to sign. Uh, we've also got some things about the radio network. You can sign that. We've got something on the front uh, about the, uh, the new stadium. So it's a very simple procedure, and uh, hopefully everybody who wants to will get a chance to meet him. Okay, good deal. We'll uh, we'll talk to Mike and Larry a little bit more. Our fine radio partner here for having the opportunity to bring Steve to Camden. Again, you'll have plenty of time. We'll stay here as long as we need to so you can have autographs and pictures, so please just be patient. Please take the directions of the police and other folks that are here and we'll get you taken care of. The Titans, WFWL presents your quarterback, Steve McNair. back in town. Welcome back to Camden. Well, it's quite a welcoming. We're glad to be back. Tell me about the caravan. How did the concept of the caravan get started? Where have you been so far and uh, what stuff do you have left in the next few days? It's the second year of the caravan and, and, and basically it's just get out and say hello to people like we're doing here to, in Camden tonight. It's just a chance to, to get out and meet folks and, and thank them for their support of the Oilers and ask them to support the Titans in coming years. Uh, we visited East Tennessee last week. We did two days in Birmingham and Huntsville, Alabama. This week we'll be in Clarksville and Bowling Green, Kentucky on Friday. And then we have uh, about four more weeks to go. In total, we'll visit some 50 cities, about 15,000 miles. Wow. Wow. Everybody be good, ready for a vacation when the <laughs> caravan gets over with. Well, actually, we have a camper's corner <laughs> RV that we get to drive around in. So it's, it's, it's not all bad, actually. Larry, let me ask you this. What goes on now? Of course, the season ended back the early part of December for the Oilers, now the Titans. But what takes place during the offseason? I know there's a lot of preparation that goes on in the as far as the administrative staff and uh, getting ready with the network for the coming year. But as far as the players, what are the players doing right now? Well, they just started their offseason program about two weeks ago. And they work out four days a week. Uh, most of them are in the, in the office by about 7.30 every morning. Uh, they're doing not just workouts, but... You know, starting to do book learning, uh, where they study up on the opponents. It, it, there really is no off-season anymore in professional football. They really work really all year round with the exception of January. They take some time off. But uh, this is really, Steve McNair made the point earlier today when we were visiting with the football team at Huntington High School, that this is really the time when your season's made. It's what you do during the off-season that determines how successful you're going to be. Stadium construction going well now? About 80% complete. Uh, they'll have the, the seats finished uh, early in April. Really working now on the inside and the club level and the press box. So it's going to be right on schedule. There's going to be a uh, draft party on April 17th, which everyone's invited to come to the stadium. There'll be players there for autographs. Uh, we'll be doing our live draft coverage there, and you'll be able to take a tour of the stadium. So, you know, if you've got some time on April 17th, that's a Saturday, come on up to Nashville and, and take a tour. Appreciate you and Mike Keith and the Titans for being with us several weeks ago now to help the tornado victims here in Benton County and the work that you done. Uh, we're still seeing great benefits out of that. We, we appreciate the Titans getting involved down here this far away from Nashville. Well, we really feel as though this is prime country for the Tennessee Titans. This this is football country as we've talked time and time again on WFWL and, and we're just so excited that people here are, 
are saying that the Titans are part of their community, and that's what we want to be. Mayor even may come up and see you this year. Of course, he visited with you, I think, back uh, when you had the radio thon up there. Mayor Jim Travis, he says he wants to come up a time or two and be a Titan supporter. He says he heard y'all looking for him last time. Well, I guess as soon as the Kentucky basketball season's <laughs> over, he'll be ready to go. Yeah, he's still in the midst of round ball, isn't he? <laughs> Larry, good to talk to good you. Good to Thank talk to you. All right, so we'll send it back to you, Michael. We're out here at the Titans Caravan here at uh, McDonald's Restaurant, Highway 641 North. Big, big crowd here. Steve McNair, quarterback, number nine with the Titans, is with us right now. So we'll send it back. You'll be back with another report in just a few moments. Stay with us. Well, you need to because we got lots of excitement going on right now. Lots of excitement. Steve McNair is up here right now signing all sorts of autographs. Other Titans personnel up here at the Titans Caravan 1999, all here at McDonald's Restaurant, Highway 641 North. Time's getting away from us, Rod. Well, it certainly is. We've still got a line uh, here. Uh, a lot of folks here waiting to get their uh, autographs with uh, Steve McNair and also uh, uh, have their picture taken with them. And, uh, Larry Stone is uh, here with me. Larry's got an announcement I think he wants to make. Larry? Thank you, Ron. Again, we're so pleased to be in Camden tonight. We have a presentation that we'd like to make. WFWL signed on with us last year to carry the Tennessee Oilers, now the Tennessee Titans. And Mike Keith, I'd like to call on in just a moment, who is the first voice of the Tennessee Titans to make a special presentation. It just means so much to us that the folks of Camden came out today and were able to support the Titans. Steve will be here for as long as, as you need him to be here to sign your autographs. We're just so very appreciative of that. And Mike will make a presentation in just a moment. We want to present to WFWL and Ryan Lane one of the uh, inaugural season Titans footballs, which Steve McNair has been kind enough to sign. On the back it reads, 1999 marks the inaugural season for the Titans in the NFL. The franchise relocated from Houston in 1997 and played two seasons as the Tennessee Oilers. In 99, the team will play in a new stadium in Nashville and begin their legacy as the Titans. So thanks, Camden, for all your support, and thanks for the WFWL. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Mike, and I want to thank uh, Mike and Larry and, uh, of course, uh, Steve McNair for coming out and uh, being with us here tonight. And thank all of you here in Camden for coming out and being a part of this. Go Titans! i tell you what, that's a, that's a nice souvenir there, Ron. That's a nice presentation. That certainly is. Mike, uh, thank you so very much. We're uh, just so happy to have you folks down tonight and also happy to be a part of the uh, Titans Radio Network. Well, thank you. And, and to be honest with you, Ron, uh, WFWL was one of the first stations to sign up. Actually, was the first station to sign up uh, after I came on the job uh, about 10 months ago. It meant a lot to us to, to get some support uh, over here in Camden. Uh, in Benton County, we, we knew that we had to get into communities, and we still know that, and we're working towards that to build a base of support one by one with people getting to see our players and getting to know us. Uh, this is my eighth trip to Camden in 10 months, so if that's not a good indication about how serious we are about fulfilling our promises of being around, being accessible, uh, you know, I don't know what else could be. Well, somebody asked me here today uh, why uh, uh, why we uh, wanted to have the Tennessee Titans on WFW Bell, and quite frankly, one of the main reasons was because of you and Larry coming to Camden and your enthusiasm and uh, the support that you've shown us. We drove you crazy, didn't you we? You sure did. <laughs> <laughs> we just wouldn't go away till you said, yeah, I appreciate that, and um, I, I, you know, I'm from the state of Tennessee, and I, I certainly know what football means in this state. And I understand that uh, if we're going to be successful, we've got to get Tennesseans to, to start uh, having this team pull at their heartstrings. And that's going to take time. And we know that. So the best way to do it is to make yourself accessible, uh, have your quarterback come out, right. do something special for people, and, and give them a chance to get excited about you. That's what the caravan's all about. And, and that's what we're trying to do through our radio partners. And WFWL is a great one for us. Tell us uh, a little bit about the uh, about the new uniforms. What can you tell us? I can't tell you much because I don't know much. Uh, supposedly, we're going to unveil them before the draft. The draft is a month away. Uh, there was some focus group testing and actually some players who were involved in the testing. And what came of that is back to the drawing board. This was two months ago. And what they said is they said, well, you know, we want to get this right one time. 
So we thought we'd have them out in February. Instead, it's going to be before the draft, delayed a little bit, and I, and I think they're winding down the decision process right now. So I don't have any idea what they're going to look like. Are the players excited about uh, the new stadium and uh, the new uh, uh, the new trades that you've made and the new players coming on board? Absolutely. I think our offensive players are very excited to have Lorenzo Neal at fullback. Uh, we're excited to have Jason Fisk and Mike Jones joining our defensive line. We're probably most excited that we re-signed Eddie Robinson. The key element, and a lot of what Steve has talked about today, the key element seems to be stability. We're holding our team together while building on some strength, and we're staying in the same place. Uh, we're going to be in Nashville. We know that. Our stadium's going to be ready the 1st of July. Our training facility's going to be ready sometime in August. And then it's over. All the move, all the hassle, and, and we think the 8-8s eight and are over. And the, uh, the Titans Radio Network is going to have a new uh, sound also this year. Well, I think so. You know, Pat Ryan is, is going to join us to do our color commentary, and uh, we couldn't be more excited. I, I, don't, I just can't tell you how thrilling it is for us to have Pat involved. And I'm going to move over and do play-by-play, -play, and obviously that's a great thrill for me to get that opportunity, mostly uh, to get the opportunity to work with Pat and Larry and, and really our whole staff, Cody Allison, John Justice, and, and Jeff Lyon, and, and all the people on our staff who do such an outstanding job. Uh, top to bottom, I've never worked with a better crew, and that's saying something for somebody who has had the opportunity to work with some special people over the years. Well, Mike, it's going to be uh, going to be a great uh, great season, I know, and we're looking forward to uh, being on board for the second year of the uh, Titans. Uh, good luck to you, and uh, come back to Camden real often. Well, thank you, Ron, and we're looking forward to having a lot of people from Benton County Way come uh, on August 28th and see our first game in the new stadium against the Atlanta Falcons. We'll have tickets on sale. Of course, you can buy a PSL now at 888-PSL-SEAT. Uh, we'll have single game tickets go on sale very early in July. So stay tuned to WFWL for the announcement of when that'll be. And we just hope we're going to have a lot of folks there from this part of the state. We hope a lot of people from this part of the state are going to get fired up about us. And thanks for uh, bringing a player of the caliber of Steve McNair down to be with us tonight. Well, Tony Wiley, our media relations director, did that for you. Uh, he, he knew that our West Tennessee swing was very important. And so he went to the mat and, and got you know, one of our two biggest name players for, for Camden because we want to, you know, we want to show how serious we are about making an impression. And I, I mean, if you bring a quarterback of this, of this caliber and a player that's this well known, I think you make a pretty good statement. We feel good about it. Mike, always good to, good to see you and thanks for the presentation here tonight. You're very welcome, Ron. Thank you. Okay, Mike, we'll send it back to you. We'll be back uh, with another report here in just a few minutes. All right, thank you very much there, Michael, and we are back at McDonald's Highway 641 North in Camden where the Titans Caravan has arrived. I mean, we've been going in full blast for about the last hour. Steve McNair, number nine, is with us just greeting everybody. He has time for pictures with everybody, drinking some of that good drink you get here at McDonald's Restaurant, uh, visiting with fans, supporters of the Tennessee Titans, and along the way, I have to tell you this, Michael, he's met a fan or two that prefer another NFL football team, so they've had some good laughs and, you know, joking around about that, but it's just a great, great time, and hey, the line still extends outside here at McDonald's. We appreciate the people being here for coming out tonight, and we're just having a great, great time. I think, I think Steve over here to my right, I've got Ron Lane on my left, Steve McNair on my right, but Ron, I think Steve's really having a good time tonight. He sure is. Uh Flash, uh, everybody having a good time. You know, somebody, uh, Tony Wiley with the uh, Titans uh, Network uh, mentioned to me a few minutes ago, he looked out over the crowd and he said, you know, I don't see a person here with a frown on their face. Everybody's having a great time. And uh, we, we appreciate Camden for coming out. You know, Flash, Camden has been uh, always a great football, a great football sports town. And uh, they've really, uh, they've really come out. And uh, people have really come out. You know, we've got, we've still got a line outside. Can you believe that? Still got a line outside. I, I wish somebody could have uh, counted the people that uh, came by tonight, but uh, there's no way of doing that. We've seen kids. We've seen uh, 
people of all ages tonight, and they've come bringing uh, everything in the world that you can imagine for uh, to get signed, right? Football cards, schedules, uh, coats, jackets, uh, caps, you name it, they've been signing it. And uh, McDonald's boxes, french fry boxes, they're even signing french fry boxes out here. Even old Mike Keith and Larry have signed an autograph or two. Yes, indeed. We appreciate uh, McDonald's for, for helping uh, sponsor this event here, and uh, of course we... Uh, Hope that all of our listeners out there will listen for the uh, Tennessee Titans uh, radio broadcast uh, this season, starting with the preseason uh, in August, I guess. That's right, and as Mike Keith mentioned to you, they have a home game, a preseason home game coming up toward the end of August, I think August 28th. That's going to be against the uh, Atlanta Falcons. That's going to be a good game coming up in preseason, and hey, I'd like to see the Titans and the Falcons develop a good southern rivalry. I think that'd be great. Be great. They've got a good schedule. Of course, going to going to be in the uh, the new stadium and uh, new uh, helmets, uniforms, and everything. So it's going to be a new look, and uh, everybody's really excited about the team. Well, I tell you what, let's do. Let's go back to Michael, and when we come back, when we come back, we're going to do our best to talk to Steve McNair on our next break. So Michael, we'll send it back to you for a little while. When we come back, hopefully, we'll have number nine to visit with Steve McNair. Stay with us. We can do that while he continues over here, and as Steve continues to sign. Hey, Steve, welcome to Camden. You're on live WRJB right now. Steve McNair, welcome to Camden. Uh, thank you. Glad to be here. Had a good day today? Uh, most definitely. Uh, the people here have been nice, and uh, I mean, I'm signing a lot of autographs and different things, and, and um, the people here is uh, in, in, in a lot of good spirit for the uh, upcoming season. Been here in the great volunteer state the past couple of seasons. Have you enjoyed uh, playing football here in the uh, – state of Tennessee. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, the people here are very friendly. I like them and the fans here will support the team and uh, once we uh, play in a new stadium uh, this year, I think it's going to be a lot of more excitement uh, to, in, in the state of Tennessee. All right then, as you continue to sign a shirt that comes through our way right now, let me just throw this question at you. Here it is, the offseason, several months before the opening, but it will be here before you know it this fall. So what's going on right now with you and the other members of the Titans and getting prepared for the 1999 season? I think we had the biggest turnout this uh, off-season for the off-season program uh, because of the excitement of going into the new stadium and, and you know, we want to uphold that new stadium and, and try to go undefeated for a long time. And uh, we've been working out every day and uh, doing the things to, to prepare ourselves for training camp. You excited about uh, things that have been done in the off-season as far as getting maybe some uh, different players through free agency, uh, things like that, and maybe uh, getting some good help in the upcoming draft? Uh, most definitely. Uh, we were just one or two players away for the last three or four seasons, and uh, I think we made the change and uh, to get the guys that we can put in those key positions to in order to, to make it to the playoffs. And we did that. We were very uh, excited about that and happy about the situation and the players that we got, and, and they're going to help us a lot. Uh, your teammate Joey Kent was down here a year before last for the Christmas parade, looking for big things out of Joey this year? Uh, most definitely. Joe was bothered uh, with a hamstring problem uh, most of the season. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, is very uh, popular around uh, the state of Tennessee, and uh, he's a guy that's going to help us uh, in the future, and he's a guy that's got great uh, potential, and he's got great ability, and I'm looking forward to him to, uh, to have a great season this year. Uh, Steve, as we enter the 99 season, what would be the goals and objectives for Steve McNair personally and also for the team? Well, Preston, I just want to uh, get my uh, team to the playoff. That is our main goal. we got to get to the playoff, and we've been close for three years, and my goal is to get us over the hump, and, and the team goal is to, you know, once we get into the uh, playoff, is to establish that uh, that standard that we can go a little further than the playoff. Good luck to you this year, and come back to see us when you can, whenever you can. Thank you. Steve McNair right there, so we had a few comments with. <laughs> just right here. Thank you very much, Michael, and we're, uh, we're about, this will be our final report of the night, the Titans caravan, uh, we see the end of the line. Mike Keith, as I said, with about 15 seconds left in that basketball game where Tennessee got demolished Sunday, the end is in sight, thank goodness. The end, the end is in sight, fortunately we have a better result here tonight <laughs> yeah, yeah. than the Vols did in Charlotte on Sunday, but it's been fantastic and I want to thank all the people in, in Camden and Benton County for turning out, thank McDonald's here for being a great host and obviously thank WFWL and WRJB for being a great host as usual as well. Larry, let me...
Brooks tonight, but who are the other personnel affiliated with the Titans this year that you brought down on this tour? I appreciate you asking that because they are the ones, you know, Mike and I, we just stand back here and drink drinks. And We've noticed that. We've noticed. <laughs> they do the work. Monica Petty is the promotions director for the Titans Radio Network. Tony Wiley is the media relations director for the Titans. Uh, Tessa Atkins is with community relations with the Titans. And then uh, Tremeka Doss is uh, with our production crew on the Titans Radio Network. So. Uh, we, we take a full crew when we hit the trail in that yeah. campus corner RV. People may not realize what goes on behind the scenes. Of course, we watch what goes on the field with Steve McNair and his teammates and the players. We listen to Mike Keith and you on the play-by-play -play and the things like that. But there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that people never, never know. And a lot of people deserve a lot of credit for a Titans broadcast. Well, it, it's a busy time for all of us. Uh, you know, We talked a little bit earlier about the, the players in the offseason, but also for the administration uh, with the tickets and the new stadium and the new name and they're working on the uniform right now and then you know we're gearing up for for the broadcast season and having the chance to come out and visit with our radio partners all across seven states is great and uh, we're also trying to get in some work because before you know it it'll be mike and pat and me from uh, kansas city in that first right. game of the preseason i know you told us last year you've got ties with north carolina are you becoming uh well, I told Mike on the, the uh, uh, trip yesterday when we were at the office that my heart hurt when Tennessee <laughs> fell out of the NCAA yeah. tournament. So, so I do feel like a Tennessee and people here have made me feel very welcome. So it's, uh, it's great. I, I'm really enjoying living here. Look forward to your next visit. Thanks for bringing Steve McNair to Camden. Anytime. Anything, and again, thanks to WFWL for having us. And, Mike, a final word with you tonight. Thanks for bringing Steve, and thanks. Uh, we're looking forward to your play-by-play -play with Pat Ryan this coming year. Thank you. We're awfully excited, and, you know, it's not very far away. It's uh, really right at about five months from now we'll be calling our, our first Tennessee Titans game uh, from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's awfully exciting. I saw Pat Ryan play at the University of Tennessee when you you never even thought about going to BGA I in saw, those days. I saw Pat Ryan play in those days, too. Oh, okay. I actually remember his one good game. No, I shouldn't say that. I, I actually remember his his whole senior year where he played quite a bit. So uh, I, I know Pat, known him for a long time, and, and he's obviously going to be the star of the show with us, and we're all excited about that. How come the year after you leave the Vol Network and uh, go leave the Vol Network, how come they win the national championship and go undefeated? And beat Kentucky twice in basketball. <laughs> yeah. Doug Dickey has told me unequivocally, stay away. So, uh, oh, no, that's not true. No, that's it's not, not true. Not. But, it, you know, if it, if it meant them winning a national championship every year, I'd never go back because it, it's obvious. Mike, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Ron, it's been a great night. Sure has, uh, Flash. Thank you very much, and uh, thank everybody for listening. We uh, had a great night, and we look forward to the uh, Tennessee Titans season coming up. Well, Michael, thanks to you for your fine job back at our studios of WRJB, and we'll send it back to you and be back with another broadcast in the near future. Back to you, Michael.